Vessel, episode 676, for April 27th, 2021. Hashtag Blood Boss Babes, by Rachel Kohler. Rated R, with a content warning for blood, violence, and multi-level marketing. <laughs> And welcome to Podcastle. I'm your host, Setsu Uzume. Today's story, hashtag Blood Boss Babes, is a Podcastle original, and it was written for you by Rachel Kohler. Rachel Kohler's short fiction has appeared in several venues, including Cross Genres, Andromeda Spaceways in Flight Magazine, and Metaphoricess. She is also the author of Mother Ghost, Nursery Rhymes for Little Monsters, a collection of nursery rhymes with Halloween twists. Rachel lives in the Baltimore, Washington area with her husband and three children, where they enjoy hiking, playing overly complicated board games, and plotting new ways to terrorize trick-or-treaters. The narrator for this story is Jen Albert. Jen Albert is an editor, writer, and former entomologist. She is the production editor at ECW Press, an independent publishing house based in Toronto, where she does acquisitions work in science fiction, fantasy, and horror. Jen is also co-chair of the Ephemera Reading Series and co-editor here at PodCastle. And now, close your laptop, turn off your notifications, and don't accept any messages from old friends, unless you really trust them. Enjoy the story. Hashtag Blood Boss Babes by Rachel Kohler Read by Jen Albert Subject. Hey girl. From Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotesh.com. To Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. Hey girlfriend. Love looking at your beautiful family on Insta, and congrats on getting into grad school. That's huge. Furthering your education while raising a family takes so much dedication, and that's why I think you'd be amazing on my team. For the past six months, I've been offering blood libations to Sotesh, mother of serpents, and let me tell you, it has changed my life. I get to set my own schedule, bleeding the unbelievers when it's convenient for me. I have the security of knowing that when Sotesh comes in her glory, I'll be spared the worst of her wrath. And she gives her faithful the best gifts. Just last week, I hit green level and was blessed with the ability to shed my soft, warm blood skin. Check out these before and after pics. My acne is completely gone. Hashtag Cobra Clear. Hashtag Whiteheads are for warm bloods. I'm looking to pick up some acolytes, and you'd be a natural. Let me know if you're interested. And give my love to Jason and the kids. XO, XO, Amy. Subject. Re, re, hey girl. From Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotesh.com, to Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. <laughs> LOL, LOL. No, no, no. The sisterhood of Sotesh is not a demonic murder cult. Murder is illegal, and I would never be part of something like that. I don't know where Jason gets those ideas. He must have heard about groups like the Order of the Bleeding Maw. They're a demonic murder cult. And they make legitimate religions like the Sisterhood look bad. We're just a badass network of women empowering women to empower the devourer of all flesh. Jason should be all for this, though, because joining the Sisterhood will help your whole family. I know how lonely the mom thing can be, and it's been such a support for me to have all these awesome blood boss babes on my side. You can't take care of the fam if you can't take care of yourself, right, Mama? Plus, your blood libations can earn all sorts of treats and blessings for the kiddos. My little Paisley just started tasting the air, and baking cookies with her has never been so fun. Let me know when you're ready to make your first sacrifice. XOXOXO, Amy. Subject. Re, just a few questions. From Amy Shearer. Serpent Sister Amy at Sotash.com to Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. Hey girl, you are so smart to ask all these questions. This is why I have always admired you. 
I had a lot of questions at first, too, but joining was so worth it. I remember what my Sunday mornings used to look like, running around, putting the kids in clothes that they hated, and ignoring them for an hour, right? And they couldn't play soccer because of all the Sunday morning games. But with Sotesh, I get to set my own worship hours, and all that is over. I wouldn't trade the friends Paisley and Jackson made in soccer for anything. Hashtag go Huntsville Hatchlings! And it's not just the scheduling. It's the peace of mind. I go to sleep every night knowing that when Sotesh comes in her glory, my fam won't be devoured in flames along with the other softskins. What kind of mama would I be if I couldn't shed a few drops for my kiddos' futures? Tell you what, you take all the time you need to think about it. You're a smart lady, and I know you'll be happy no matter what you choose. XOXOXO, Amy. Subject, Serpent Sisters, from Amy Shearer. Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotash.com. To Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. <laughs> oh my god, I am so excited to have you on board, hun. You are going to rock this. I've attached everything you need for your first libation. I know a pint sounds like a lot, but really, it's what the Red Cross takes. And people don't eat blood all the time, right? And even if you decide the sisterhood isn't for you, your sacrifice still gets you those bitching fangs, and you don't have to use them to drain blood for her dark majesty. They're great for cutting through packing tape. And hey, Jason might find some fun uses for them, hot stuff. One other important thing. Sotesh demands a libation on the night of each full moon. But good news, it doesn't have to come from you. Go on social media and let everyone know how much the sisterhood has changed your life, and your friends will be begging to throw in a pint. And you can always ask a gal pal out for a coffee and see if she'll just let you bite her at the end of the date. If she's a real friend, she'll be happy to open her veins in praises of her all-devouring magnificence. Welcome aboard, Serpent Sister. XOXO. Amy. Subject. Re. First Sacrifice. From Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotesh.com, to Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. Oh, oh my god, you are smashing your goals like the skulls of Sotesh's prey. Don't knock it, sister. A tablespoon is nothing to sneeze at, and I just know it's the first of many to come. About banking it until the next full moon? No. It sounds like a good idea, but the smart thing is to invest it in blessings from the Great One. Once you've gained more of her gifts, you'll really get those libations pouring out. Just a few more tablespoons and you'll have a half cup, which gets you those gorgeous golden slit pupil eyes. The minute somebody sees them, they'll be dying to hear about how Sotesh has changed your life. <laughs> or if you really want to treat yourself, you can pour out another pint and get the power to perform a sinuous, mesmeric dance. Can you imagine how you'll be able to bring the blood cascading in when you can entice your prey like that? I know you only have a tablespoon for now, but if you have to, you can put in just a little more from yourself until more comes in. Because more is coming in. Believe in Sotash and she will believe in you. XOXO, Amy. Subject, Re, Coffee. From Amy Shearer. Serpent Sister Army at Sotesh.com To Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com Ugh, no offense, but your sister sounds like a total neg ferret. I can't believe she isn't supporting you. Your body makes half again as much blood when you're pregnant, so it's not like she can't spare a cup. I hate when stupid cows like that won't support other women. Deep breaths, mama. You can do this before the full moon gets here. And even if you can't, and that's a big F, it won't hurt to bleed yourself once, right? Just while you build up your base. Everybody has to do that sometimes, it's no big. Speaking of your base, I know you're working with the one-time libations, but have you been recruiting acolytes? Every new member of the sisterhood helps to hasten the glorious coming of Sotash, and some of the blood from your acolytes' libations gets credited to you, so you don't have to gather so much. Plus, you get the coolest perks when you convert unbelievers. You saw my sweet green level scales. And only acolytes of pink level or higher will get the rolls of her own when she comes in her glory. Get out and get bleeding. You've got this. 
XOXO, Amy. Subject, re, worried. From Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotash.com. To Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. I am not loving your attitude, or Jason's attitude. I really think you're letting his negativity affect you. Look, I know the full moon is tomorrow, but it's one full moon. It won't kill you to give a pint of your own this once. And while we're at it, I know you already shed for the golden eyes and the starter fangs, but why didn't you pony up for hibernation powers instead of an unhinging jaw? Another pint wouldn't feel like so much if you could sleep for a week after. Look, it's hard to stay positive. Put on your makeup, drink your coffee, and don't let anyone tell you that you look pale. Pale is a state of mind, hun. Remember, anemia stands for allowing negative energy to muzzle ideas and actions. Anyone who says you're pale is a jealous hater trying to drag you down. And if there's one thing Sotesh can't stand, it's haters. Just keep smiling and telling everyone how great the eyes and the jaw are. When they see how happy you are, they'll want to get in on it too. Fake it till you make it, blood boss babe. And seriously, stop listening to Jason. Whatever you need to do to get that negativity out of your life, do it. You don't want Sotash blaming you or the kids for his mood hoovering, do you? XO, XO, Amy. Subject. Re, second thoughts. From Amy Shearer, Serpent Sister Army at Sotash.com. To Heather McBride, McHeather at Ymail.com. No, 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 no. I did not tell you to pony up for the hibernation powers right now. I said that if you had done it before, you'd be fine. Of course now you don't have enough blood for tonight. Not even if you hibernate after. For fuck's sakes, did you even read the welcome packet? Look, you have everything going for you right now. You're up to four powers. You should be getting sacrifices by the gallon. Stop blaming me and Sotash for your bad choices. If you blame anyone, it should be Jason for not supporting you in your new life. Work it out. Do whatever you need to. Whatever you need to. Or Sotesh will be pissed. XO, XO, Amy. Subject, Re Heather. From Amy Shearer. Ma Mama at ootbm.com. To Jen Bradshaw, Jennifer Bradshaw 89 at woohoo.com. Hey girl, I'm so glad to hear from you. Oh my god, I couldn't believe when I heard about Heather either. And no, of course I didn't tell her to bleed her husband to death. Some people just aren't cut out for their religious life. It's sad. I mean, it doesn't help that the sisterhood of Sotesh was kind of a racket. They're supposed to be all about sisterhood, but a snake is kind of phallic for that, am I right? Plus, Sotesh's infernal gifts are total crap. I won't lie. I followed her for like five minutes, but my left fang broke right away. I'm so lucky I found a real religion. Have you heard about the Order of the Bleeding Maw? I've just joined. It's been a life changer. Forget about all that Sotesh anemia nonsense. When blood drips out of your family's mouth 24-7, you always know where to find more if you're running low. I'm never going to need to buy lipstick again, which is amazing for my budget. I'm super glad you reached out because I'm looking for a new acolyte to join my team. Let me know if you're interested. You'd be a natural. XO, XO, Amy. And welcome back. It's fascinating to see what happens when stories shift into different text formats and then taking that text and turning into audio to see what happens. Man. Some other examples include Podcastle 653, Why Aren't Millennials Continuing Traditional Worship of the Elder Dark, which is a news report by Matt Dovey, or Podcastle 339, Help Summon the Most Holy Folded One, which was a Kickstarter written by Harry Connolly. Another example was Podcastle episode 356, Super Baby Moms Group Saves the Day, which was a mailing list thread by Tina Connolly, or even the more serious 
Book of May by C.S.E. Cooney and Carlos Hernandez. That was episode 669. Does it still count as epistolary if it's emails? Or would that be epistolary? Or maybe that's when you fire toy guns back and forth and the dialogue comes out on one of those little flags instead of the word bang? No. <laughs> this type of nonsense escalates so quickly. Speaking of rapidly escalating nonsense, I should tell you that in addition to our lovely four shows and the once annual bonanza that is Cat's Cast, Escape Artist has a dun 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 Twitch channel. Here's what's happening over there. Anyone with an Amazon Prime membership can subscribe to the channel for free. If you don't have Amazon Prime, which is totally respectable, you can still hang out with us if you create a Twitch account, which is also free. The schedule right now includes two main events, including Wednesdays at 10 p.m. London time, which is bedtime stories, usually a piece of fiction along with some pretty bedtime lighthearted nonsense, and casual gaming on Sundays at 10 a.m. London time. Link to the schedule is twitch.tv slash eapodcasts slash schedule, but you can get the full rundown on registration, what we're up to, what our plans are, at escapeartist.net slash twitch. I truly hope to see you there. It is a great way to come hang out and spend time and let us know that you're out there because, you know, Flying Castle, we go really high, really fast. Sometimes all we see down there is mist and we know that someone's listening, but it would be cool to like, you know, chit chat back and forth a little bit. Anyway, that was our show for this week and hope to see you there. On behalf of everyone here at Podcastle, our audio engineer Peter Barabesh, our forum moderator Aussie Cat, your co-editors Jen Albert and Sherway Clark, along with all of our fantastic first readers, including Tierney Bailey, Sophia Barker, Matt Dovey, Aidan Doyle, Amelia Harrington, Kai Hudson, Craig Jackson, Julian Jarbo, Shamari Kirkwood, Devin Martin, Julia Pat, Hamilton Perez, Shrigrupa Krishna Prasad, Ziv Witties, Eleanor Wood, and Caitlin Zivanovich. Thanks for letting us share another story with you. Podcastle is part of Escape Artists Incorporated and is distributed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derivatives 4.0 International License. Feel free to share the episode, but don't sell it and don't change it. Our music is by Shiva in Exile. Everything we do on Podcastle is 100% donor funded, and if you'd like to support what we do, I invite you to join us on our Patreon at patreon.com slash eapodcasts. Or on our Twitch, which again is escapeartist.net slash twitch. And I promise that we will not make you give blood to elder gods, unless that's what you're into. But we can talk about it. Anyway, we will see you next week with another tale. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs>